another Jeep problem. So, actually, this one's been going on for a while. We have a valve cover oil leak. And I was just thinking, you know, let it leak. You don't have to change oil. It just leaks out. Kind of gets that nice, uh, lubricates the outside engine. You tell we start buying oil all the time. Yeah, well, you didn't have to change it. It just it, it made nice smells in the Jeep. So, in this video, we're going to change the valve cover gasket. And, uh, it's all going to be good after that. <laughs> it's going to be fixed. <laughs> See y'all, stay tuned. Okay, Danielle was making fun of me with my cake reference, but we're pla replacing the gasket right here. You see a little residue right here? Now let's look at the other side and see how that looks. You see right here on the front, we have a nice coating of uh, a frosting or what is it, glaze coming down on our cake right here. Or icing. icing or we'll call this oil coming down our engine block and making wonderful smells for inside the cabin. Okay, so our son is taking off the valve cover boat bolts, and then we'll have a few things to move out of the way. Okay, doing the last one, and he, he stuck it. There you go. Now we have to remove things like the PVC valve. Holy crap! Brian, remove the PVC valve without breaking it. Oh, how do you do that? It's right there. I don't know how to it pulls up. It's in a plastic. How do you not break stuff? Don't break stuff. Can you twist it off? You can. All right, here, we'll do it this way. Just pull this off. Okay. Uh, that and just move that. <laughs> remove this pipe right here. And there. We're all off. Now we just take and pry this off. You want to pry? Uh, Using my, muscles. With my hands? Yes. Uh, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be difficult. It's fun with all the obstacles in the way. The thing you got is you have lifters, so you have to push that down. Because you had the rockers in there. Huh? Push it down. Yeah, for this? Yeah. And you lift it straight up. Yes. Push that down under it. Oh, and you have to lift it straight up off the, the valves. This wiring is in the way. There you go. Mm -hmm. Now I got it. You got it? Hopefully. And your hands will get dirty doing this. And then it exposes all your rockers. Pretty cool. Yeah. Still got oil in there. So now we have to clean up all our surfaces. So we have to clean up this surface down here. And this surface right here. And then we have to put it back together. It looks like this is probably where our oil leak was. Mm -hmm. You see how it's, it's broke right there? So it's a good thing we're replacing this. Okay, so we have all the gasket material cleared, cleared off of our uh, valve cover. And we have all the gasket material cleared off down here. Flashlight. So down here, all the gasket material is off. And then we're going to only stick a gasket maker, which is a silicone, on here in a few points just to hold this on. And we're going to let it dry and then we'll stick it on. We don't want this gasket to move, but we want don't want it to be too hard to clean up later on. Okay, so you see we're only putting gasket maker right here on the edges, just a little bit, and we're gonna put our gasket on the valve cover so it doesn't come off. 
We're not going to put this on the engine because it's so much hard to clean off the engine. Okay, so now we're putting on the gasket. We're going to let put the gasket on, let this sit for about 30 minutes so that this gasket maker can set up and hold that gasket in place. We want to make sure it's not covering any holes. Okay, so it's all dry and we're ready to stick it on the engine. Or it's not dry, it's dried for about 20 minutes. Yeah, I didn't move any of it. You have to be very careful when putting this on because this is why valve cover mat folds or valve covers leak all the time. Is because when they're being installed, they move them out of place and then it leaks oil everywhere. Yeah. Move. Just slide it over this way, like this, Brad. You got more on your side. You got more slack on your side. Probably moved it. Didn't I? Let me take it off. Okay, take it off. Okay, yeah. we did move it, so now we're gonna try again. So move this out of the way, move this down here. Uh, like that. It's, it's, this is the main problem. Yes, you have to take it, move this up here like this, so when you slide it on, you slide your lip underneath it. Okay, so move this. Go ahead and put it on. And then move this up over your lip, like that. And be careful with the... What is it stuck on? Stuck on the fuel rail. There you go. You think that's good? Yep. It's not going to leak anymore? Hopefully not. Now we're going to put all the bolts in. Okay, so you just... Finger tight the bolts when you start. You don't use a drill or impact or anything like that. So it's just a star pattern. We're tightening up the center. I don't know if I'm on it. All right, I'm on it. I'm on. And then, and then we're gonna do this one, then that back one, then that one, then that one, and then we're gonna do these back ones here. This one over here and that one. So after we got our star pattern done, we went ahead and uh, just went around the manifold, tightening up the bolts. Okay, so after we got them all tight, we're just gonna go through and we're gonna check them with the impactor real quick. Okay, that is, we checked all of them. And now we changed this. And we're going to take and we're just going to put these over here. You'll probably find some bolts, nuts in my bolt bin over there. And this job should be complete. Now we just have to test and see if it leaks oil. Don't forget to put your hoses back on. It won't run very good if you have massive amounts of vacuum leaks. Where's, this? Where's that hose? Is that everything? I think so. Looks to be everything. That's there's only two hoses and this one wire. There's you don't have cruise control. You don't have you don't have anything on this Jeep. Wow. Okay. You're out. We got the engine all soaked up, and we're gonna let this sit and hopefully dissolve some of this oil. Get around the valve cover really good. That's what we're checking for me. Well, babe, I think it's fixed. Well, it doesn't smell anymore. So no. That's good. Not oil. And it's not leaking anymore either. So. No, it's not leaking any oil. And, uh, yeah, of course, when we get this fixed, we've been actually testing it for a week. So it's been running for about a week. No oil leaks. There's still a little bit of residue on the engine, but nothing like it had before. And 
that's going to come out with more washes. But now I mean, Jeps had a lot of washes. I mean, as you can see, there's dirt on it again. He's so, been testing it. Yes, he has. So constant testing of the Jeep and another issue, rare, just icky head. Okay, before we had oil leaks all around here and all down here. You'll still see it on the block, that's just a residue, but the oil level is staying the same and that will get burned off. We couldn't, we power washed it, but it all didn't come off. See down the side of the block here, it looks really clean and we don't have any oil leak come off the back. All the oil underneath has really cleaned up, so this thing's looking a lot better. So we're going to go into that. We, uh, we're going to finish the tune-up on the Jeep with the, um, uh, what's that thing called? Distributor cap and wires. We already did the spark plugs. Like we, I know. <laughs> we did the spark plugs and we showed you what to look for on, you know, how your engine's running, whether it's lean, rich, burning oil, things like that. So check out that video. Pretty cool. Is it? So I think all the Jeep videos are very helpful for people that need that. It is a '94. It is. It's old. It's kind of like our boat. It's old. Got a lot of problems. It's a classic. Yeah. Almost an antique, like me. Oh. I am antique. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I'm way past that. I'm not telling you my age. So, stay tuned for that. And uh, also, if you're looking for great eats, good recipes. Check out DiningInWithDanielle.com. Cooks great recipes every week. And, uh, of course... Of course he's going to say that. But, yeah, they are good. Well, our son's friends, they come over and they just have to eat them. And uh, it's just like... All I about the flavors, guys. All about the seasoning. Yeah, you got to season the chicken. <laughs> <laughs> or anything else. <laughs> So, yeah, check out that. Good recipes released every week. Also, you know, if you like this video, hit that like button. It's like that. It's down there. If you like our channel, subscribe. It's also down there. There's a little bell for that ad reminder. If you're like me and you need that extra help to know that something came across your feed. So we can annoy you every week. Yes. And y'all please take care.